It's Diddy Kane. I'm back today with another video. Huge shout out to you for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and do not skip those ads. In today's video, we are going to do two go share orders and we're going to learn the difference between being a helper and being a driver. Are you guys ready? Let's go. On our first order, we are going to be a helper. Our pickup place. <coughs> Y'all see what's going on, baby. We are picking up from home goods. We're gonna drive 10.2 miles, 21 minutes of drive time, and we're picking up a large dresser, and we're gonna receive $41.67, enough money to pay the rent, let's go. 12 seconds later. So we have a huge problem. I ain't gonna lie, I'm keeping you real with you, cuz. I'm low key a little upset about this. We get here at home goods to pick up the order. We get here at 11.30, our pickup time is 12 o'clock. 11:45. Guess who called me? The other person who we supposed to help to pick up the order. He called me and tell me this. So you said you would be here around 12:30 or 12:45? Yes, could be, could be sooner. You know, I mean, all depends on uh, the time and the traffic. So, as you guys can see, he told me he's not gonna be here to 12:30 to 12:45. So I'm like, I don't know if I want to wait all that long, baby. I already been here since 11:30. I do not want to sit here for another hour to hour and 15 minutes and play games with you, baby, because you got another order and all that stuff. They ain't got nothing to do with me. So what we did was reach out to support, and guess what support said? Support you out of pocket. I, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit after this. Support you out of pocket. So they asked me, can I sit here and wait for him for that time? Absolutely not. Then I asked them. If I do wait, will I receive extra pay? They told me no, because they cannot charge the customer more money because somebody was late. What they gotta do with me? Take some of his money and give it to me, if you got the problem with that. Now, my main issue with all of this, this is what I have a problem with. On GoShare's website, it says that if I cancel between 48 hours and one hour before the project start time, I will have to pay a $20 fee. If I cancel less than one hour before the project start time, I will have to pay a $30 fee. And if I do a no-show, that means I, sh I don't show up at all, I will have to pay a $50 fee. But this is my issue, guess what? Guess how much they have to pay me for canceling? Zero dollars. The lady told me that they're gonna waive my cancellation fee like I did something wrong. Comment below and let me know if I'm tweaking or not. Now, just because of all of this, I need you guys to smash the subscribe button Give me a thumbs up and do not skip those ads. Guess what? We still gonna get to this bag, let's go. One week later. Guess what? It is a week later and guess what we got? Another one, another one, baby. We have another order on GoShare. The pickup place is home goods yet again, but not that one, another one. And we are gonna drive 2.1 miles, six minutes of drive time, and we will receive a payment of $67.31, enough money to pay the rent. I know you wonder, what you picking up? Guess what? We are picking up two chairs, and guess what else that's great about this order? It is only for one person, so we do not have to worry about anybody else. We're gonna be the only driver, so we're about to go out here and get busy. I'm glad you guys are with me, let's go. It's called Go Share. Go Share, yeah. Uh-huh. So they haven't brought them a friend yet, but okay. they will be, so. Yeah, yeah. Where do you think I should go with 
this one here or over here? Just right there. Sit right next to it. Right here? Yep. Okay. So you guys know where we're going? It's just down the street, right? Just along North uh, Willow to Northfield Road and turn right. Okay. I got it, George. <laughs> so I'll meet you there. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Great. Right. Just... Okay. All right. Thank you very Sounds much. Good. No problem, man. You, you guys have a good one. So I'll meet you there, okay? Yes, ma'am. We'll separate everything down and we'll be there in a few minutes. Okay, great. Guess what, baby? So, instead of the 6731, guess how much we got? Uh, hold on, wait, let me switch it out. Uh, 8731, we went out there and got it done. And it was super sweet. The guy helped me load everything, and then my business partner, I got everything uh, out the vehicle, then we rolled, rolled, rolled our belt gently through the storage unit, baby. And I wanna say huge shout out to Jan. She's a great lady, she helped us out a lot, and she gave us this extra dub, and she's very nice, baby. So. Now we are going to get into the difference between a helper and a driver. Number one, a helper usually makes less money. Now, for my first time doing gold share, guess what? I didn't make that much less than the other guy. I only probably made like $12 or $13 less than him. And the driver is responsible for communicating with the customer, so you're supposed to tell them when you get there. Then you also supposedly are responsible for strapping everything down in the back of your vehicle because the helper does not take anything in their car. They don't take nothing in there. You put everything in your car, you drive it over there, and then you get busy. Now, the benefits of being a helper. I think that the benefit of being a helper is you don't really have to worry as much. You don't have to put nothing in your car. All you gotta do is show up there, help them load the stuff, help them unload the stuff, and that's really all you gotta do. You are gonna make a little less money, but, let me say this, but, you may have a smaller selection of orders. You might not get orders all the time like that, baby. But as a driver, you are gonna make more money, but you do hold all the responsibility. That's contacting the customer, and also make sure you reach out to the helper to let them know that you're on your way to the store and what time they're gonna be there and get everything situated between all parties, baby. All in all, I do like GoShare. I think it's a good app, and I think that if you out there and you wanna do stuff like this, you definitely should sign up so you can go out there and get busy. My few problems with the app is, honestly, I do not like having to worry about other people. I don't like it, it's just a thing that I have. I like to worry about myself. And I, just like you guys saw before, the guy was talking about he was gonna be late and they want me to sit there and wait for an hour and a half. I don't wanna do all that, baby. I wanna go there, be on time and get busy. Now what happens if I'm a helper and a person is driver and my driver is terrible, he's late and all that stuff, he's gonna affect me too. He's gonna make me late and he's gonna make the customer not appreciate the job that we're doing because he's playing around playing games. It doesn't mean I'm not gonna do it though. I do like to go get busy. Also, I'm gonna say one more thing. One more thing that I do not like about the app. Go say y'all be tripping on this app. I'm gonna tell you guys what you have to do. So, you accept your order, right? So say we, we had to go to uh, Home Goods, right? So, you drive the Home Goods, you have to slide, you have to slide when arrive. Then, you have to go in there, you have to look at the items, make sure everything is good. Then you have to slide again to let them know that you're gonna load the items. Then you have to slide again where you're about to leave. Then when you get to the place you're dropping it off at, you have to slide again and let them know you arrived again. Then you have to take it where we have to take it to. Then you have to take a picture. And then guess what you gotta do after that? Slide again to confirm you dump delivery. Why do I gotta slide all them times? All I wanna do is go in here, say I've arrived, get the stuff, put it in the vehicle, take a picture maybe one time to let them know it's in there, drive to the place, Take a picture of the proof delivery and be done, baby. They want you to, they want to slide. They want to slide, it's the real. They want to slide everywhere, baby. But all in all, I think you guys should go ahead and download the app. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you are not subscribed, 
Go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And do not skip those ads. And lock in tomorrow because we get back to the bag. Why we get back to the bag? Because 2023 is big bag season. We're going to keep on giving a reason. I'll see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're throwing. You already know it. The DDK. And I'm on my way.